Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Wonderboy Thompson versus Michelle Pereira. Michelle Pereira is 29 years old, 28 and 11 as a pro, and he's got one inch of height but giving up two inches of reach to 40 year old Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, who is 17, 6 and 1 as a pro. This is a battle between two guys who are really good moving on the outside and striking, but one of them should be a lot better, in my opinion, and that's Wonderboy Thompson. Wonderboy is a very tough guy to beat on the feet. He's lost some rounds, been cracked, and yes, he's been knocked out to Anthony Pettis. But generally speaking, when he's on the feet throwing down with you, he's winning the fight. Just an incredibly diverse striker, very unique karate striker, and his movement is still as sharp as ever, and he's still as ferocious as ever. Coming off a win over Kevin Holland... In a four-round war, kind of, kind of, kind of a war, kind of halfway to a one-sided fight, but a Wonder Boy looked great in that fight. He looked great. He definitely doesn't look like he's slowing down. And again, on the feet, it's tough to best that guy. He's lost six times, just once by knockout to Anthony Pettis, and five times by decision. Tyrone Woodley, very close fight, and then that was a rematch of their draw. Uh, Darren Till, bad decision. Bilal Muhammad, Gilbert Burns, and Matt Brown. Matt Brown handed him his first loss. That was more of an experience thing. And then Gilbert Burns and Bilal Muhammad are the two guys that beat him recently. And they did so with pure grappling. Really wrestling. You know, even Gilbert Burns was just the wrestler there. Because Wonder Boy's got some, I think, some really underrated jujitsu. Where, and overall, just. I guess anti-grappling skills I should say where he keeps the fight from being a jiu-jitsu fight those guys were just forced to hold him against the cage and smother him and that's a, a, enough of a weakness I guess you know for it to be a concern but the fact that nobody submitted him or ever really come close bodes well for Wonder Boy on the ground but he's still a guy that's been beaten by being taken down and smothered and I do think Michel Pereira is a guy who's a little underrated in that regard. There's a chance he does that, and if he's smart, he'll be at least trying to do that. But I do think Wonder Boy is the much better striker. You know, I think uh, he is probably not as overall dangerous as Michel Pereira. Michel Pereira is a little more explosive. But these guys both have similar styles, and Wonder Boy is just that much better, where I think... It's a particularly favorable matchup on the feet where he takes away a lot of Michelle's strengths and beats him up in a way he's not used to. So Wonderboy should win on the feet. We've seen him outpoint some very good fighters. Uh, Jeff Neal, Vicente Luque, Jorge Masvidal, Rory McDonald. A lot of those five-rounders. Wonderboy can go and there's no signs of him slowing down. Michelle Pereira, he can go as well. He's gotten some solid wins in the UFC. He's on an incredible winning streak, and that's after starting off his career with a few speed bumps. I mean, he knocked out Danny Roberts first with a beautiful flying knee, but then uh, Tristan Connolly beat him by decision in one of the greatest single victories in non-title fight history in the UFC, in my opinion. Just a great debut as well for Tristan Connolly. But that was a fight where Michelle Pereira gassed and lost a grappling battle down the stretch to a much smaller guy. Uh, and then his next loss was to Diego Sanchez, where he just committed a foul, kneed him in the head in round three. Diego kind of checked out and took the victory. It is what it is. But since then, he's looked incredible, and he's beaten some really good fighters. He beat Chaos Williams, Nico Price, Andre Fialio, and Santiago Ponzinibbio all by decision. And he's looked really good in all these fights. You could argue Nico Price was starting to take over in the end, uh, but generally he's outlasted, guys. He outlasted Chaos Williams, Andre Fialio, and in the Ponzinibbio fight, uh, you know, could have gone either way to be fair, but uh, Michel Pereira was still throwing down to the bitter end. And speaking of which, he also took out that guy Zalim Mimadiyev or whatever by rear naked choke in round three. Even though he was winning that fight the whole way through, it was good to see him get a finish in the third round of a UFC fight. I think this fight is uh, in, only interesting if Michel Pereira tries to take Wonder Boy down. And he's shown to have good takedown prowess. You know, I don't think he's anywhere near Bilal Muhammad or even Gilbert Burns. 
but he's a solid athlete, young 29-year-old kid, and he's uh, very explosive. And I think he, if he uses his timing well to get in on Wonder Boy's hips instead of trying to land a flying knee, it could be the right course for him, and he could find some, some success. But I'm picking against that. I'm picking Wonder Boy to win. I think Wonder Boy is going to be able to manage his distance and win an outside striking battle. And Michel Pereira, even though I'm sure he's going to be going for takedowns and probably even get some, I don't think he's got what it takes to duplicate the success of Bilal Muhammad and Gilbert Burns. He's a big, strong guy and a well-rounded fighter, but he doesn't have that level of control. So I'm picking Wonder Boy to win this fight. I think it will be by points. It's a three-round fight. And uh, I'll see what the prop bets are. But for now, I bet on Wonder Boy at minus 165. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.